Hello everybody and welcome to a C++ string methods tutorial. In this tutorial I will be creating two string, or actually three string methods, one of which we've already created in one of my previous tutorials on how to create a single line calculator which is the split method. However, I am going to be altering the split method just a little bit, hence why I did not just copy and paste from the last tutorial and I want to just rewrite it here on camera. So actually, the first thing that we are going to need is the split string method. The reason that we need it is because we will need it for the remove string method. So we're just going to go ahead down here. We're going to create the standard vector, and I could just say using namespace standard, but I prefer to write these out. I have standard string, and it's going to be called split. We're just going to take in a standard string called str and a character called break on. So we're going to create two variables. One is a string called statement equal to equal to null for now. And Oh, excuse me. Then we're also going to create a, a standard vector of string called svec, just like before. And then we're going to traverse through the str. So we're going to say for int i equal to zero, while i is less than str dot length i plus plus. And then we're going to say if str dot at i is not equal to break on, then we want to go ahead and say statement plus equals str dot at i. Just like that. However, if it is equal to break on, so if it is the character that we want to break on, then we want to go ahead and say svec dot push back with our statement here. And then we want to reset statement so we can uh, continue looping through it and we can continue adding to the vector. The problem with the last split method that I created was the fact that it could only take in or could only create a vector with two outputs. This way we can create a split method which can break up a uh, string into many uh, indexes within a vector instead of just two. So that's why I decided to rewrite this. Alright, so now we're going to implement it in our remove string method. So standard string remove string, going to take in a string called str and a string called rem for remove. What we're going to do for this one is we have to count the number of spaces inside the um, string before we do anything. But first we're also going to, so we're going to have to create a standard string called new word equal to null for now, and we're also going to create an int called spaces equal to zero for now. The reason we have to count the number of spaces is because we are going to loop the number of spaces to get each word, because we're going to split, hence why we created the split method, at each space so we can compare each word in the array, or the, um, compare each word in the string to see if it matches the remove word right here. It's going to make a lot more sense once we actually do it. So, we're going to for int i equal to zero, while i is less than str dot length, i plus plus, and then we're going to say if str dot at i is equal equal to a space, we have to use the two um, uh, what are these apostrophes here because it's a because we're comparing characters and characters, not characters and string. So if it's equal to a space, then we just want to say spaces plus plus. And also we have to say str plus equals a space, by the way, because if we don't add on a space to the end of our s of our string here, then it won't count the last word. Because how the split method works is it looks at where the um, word, the letter they want to break on is. So in this case, the space, and then it takes the um, whole thing of string that comes before that character. And so if there's no space at the end, then it won't look for the last letter because there's no, um, there's nothing to look at before a space. So that's why we have to add a space on at the end of there. So now that we have the number of spaces, we can just say for int i equal to zero, while i is less than spaces, i plus plus. And here we want to um, start building the new word. So we can go ahead and we could say if um, sp oh, whoops. if split str on space i is not equal to remove. So if the um, if the current word or if the current iteration of the word is not equal to the word that we want to remove, 
Then we want to say new word plus equals split str space i, just like that. And so what this will do is this will just basically loop through the um, number of spaces that we have and it will check to see if the current iteration is not equal to the word that we want to remove and if it isn't then it will add it on to our new word but if it is the word that we want to remove then it won't be on our new word. Then finally we just want to return new word here. Now let's implement this to see if I messed anything up. So we're just going to say standard cout enter word here and then we're also going to go up here, we're going to create a standard string called statement, how about equal to null for now. And what we have to do here actually is we can't use standard cn because um, it, there's going to be spaces. So what we have to do is we have to say standard get line of standard cn, we want to get the line of the cn and we want to get we want to replace that with the word, or we want to store it in our statement variable here. Uh, whoops, had too many scope resolution there. And also, I'm going to go up here and I'm just going to create a character called char or string equal to null for now, and then it's just going to standard c out um, enter c for character or s for string here. And then this is just going to use standard cn char or string here so we can decide whether or not we want to break on a character or a string. And so if our char or string is equal to s then we want to um, remove a string. So if it's equal to s, then we just want to um, standard, or, or uh, we have to say standard c out, enter the string you would like to remove here, and then we have to go up here. We'll create standard string called str remove equal to nothing for now, and then we will standard c in str remove. And then we will just standard C out, and also add a new line onto that one just to be consistent. Standard C out. Um, also, we want to return um, new word is new word, just like that. Then we want to standard C out a new line as well as remove string of our statement and then the word that we want to remove is whatever they typed in for str remove. So let's see if I messed anything up there. Oh, what? Oh, whoops. Uh, then we want to return svec down here for our split method. So enter a word. I'm going to enter hello, hi there. Um, we want to remove a string. And to the string that you want to remove, let's remove the word hi. New word is hello there. And also, I'm just going to um, add a space here. So we just redo that. And we say hello, hi there. And then we want to remove a string. And then we want to say remove hi. And then new word is hello there. And then finally, we want to add the new line. So just one more time, just random stuff. Hi, new word. All right. So it seems that we got our word thing to work just like that. So now there are the remove string to work. Now we have to implement our remove character. So we're just going to keep our spacing consistent. We're just going to say our standard string remove char takes in a standard string called str as well as a character called remove and then here is pretty simple we just want to create a standard string called new word equal to nothing for now then we want to say for int i equal to zero while i is less than our str dot length 
I plus I plus plus, and then if our str dot at I is not equal to remove, then we want to say new word plus equals str dot at I just like that, and then finally we want to return new word, and then we can go ahead and say else. So if they type in C, we can copy this. Instead of enter the string, enter the character, and then we want to create a character called uh, char remove equal to null for now, and then s or er, char rem takes in that, and then instead of removing string, we are going to be removing char, and then we are going to be removing the specific character that we type in. So now if we go ahead and we run this, and we say enter word, hello there, actually um, let's go ahead and say also here, um, new word plus new word, and then, okay, just so that we got that consistent. So hello there, we want to remove a character, and we want to remove the character E, and then hello, and then hello there is what returns. And just make sure that our remove string is still working. So hello, hi there, remove a string. We want to remove hello, and hi there is returned. All right, looks like we got everything to work. And so yeah, that's about it for this uh, short little string tutorial on how to remove string and how to remove characters, as well as an update to our split method here. Um, all these source code will be down in the description. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next time. Bye.